You guys have to have confidence in me. Trust me. I, I'm. It's gonna go easy for me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Ultra Sun Wonderlock video here on the channel and I feel like today is the day that we're gonna battle Ultra Necrozma and chat keeps hyping it up telling me it's somewhat that I'm gonna end it's a battle that I'm gonna end up losing a few Pokemon to. I don't think so at all. You got this no need to over prepare yet. I, I think I should be fine. Marco thinks I'm fine. Brickbird thinks I'm gonna fall to Ultra Necrozma so let, let's see how things play out. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Of course, comment down below what you guys think of today's video and the content in general. And if you guys want to catch this live, head over to twitch.tv forward slash NoLeaksLouie to check this out live. Also want to throw it out there, if you guys uh, are into Funko Pops, I do have a Funko Pop uh, giveaway going on right now on my Instagram. I actually have two Funko Pop giveaways going on right now on my Instagram. So if you guys want to uh, a chance at winning that, make sure to head over there and follow the rules and procedures on the certain post. But without further ado, let's get started with today's episode. Ha! I'm sorry, Dream. Who did you just play as? Dream's playing Pokemon Unite. So uh, she says she just played as Vinegar, but I'm pretty sure she means Venusaur. Is there anything over here? No. How many people uh, didn't like you uh, want to uh, guess, uh, guess or follow? Wait, what, what do you mean? Wait, Lou, where the one million? I haven't, I haven't added it yet. I want to. I definitely will add it, but I, I just haven't done it yet. Also, throwing it out as a discretion. If we do have to capture a legendary Pokemon, I am not gonna wonder trade that because I need that for my living decks. So I will not wonder trade it. How many people didn't like uh, or uh, follow? Uh, I mean, a lot of people liked. A lot of people liked, but uh, not a lot of people followed, though. So, like, if you if you look at the the post itself, right? The post has over a, a thousand likes, and I only have three hundred followers or three hundred and fifty, right? So. It's, it's you can you can see like they're they're gonna be like oh I thought I was entered no no you weren't because you didn't follow the procedure you gotta like and comment you have to follow those are the big three ones and of course you put it on your story and it gets more stuff for it but so I'm assuming I would do I would be blowing this the moon flute if this was ultra Su or ultra moon also lucky on the Ralts. Uh, the, the, the short, the reels and the shorts and all that stuff, those are all reposts, to be honest. I just keep reposting things. That's like 150 people who probably did, uh, them all. Yeah, exactly. Because, so at the start of the meal giveaway, I had maybe 150, and I, I went up to about 270, right? At the start of the, uh, Fatgum giveaway, I was at 270, 270 to 280, right? And right now I'm at 350, so it's like... It's, it's a growing process. We're getting there, but... Cutscenes, how does an 11-year-old child know how to play an uh, accent flute perfectly to summon gods? That's true. Well, it's like how... Well, no, I guess technically Yugi didn't do it. Hey, it's so Galeo. She's all happy because it looks dope. So Galeo looks really cool. It's a really cool cutscene to start the whole um, episode off with. Imagine Sogaleo attacks us. Nah, we got the Sogaleo. We're all, we're on the same side. Do I, I don't have to catch this thing, right? It's just automatically like a part of our team or something. Oh, she kills the call. She kill calls it. Uh, she still calls it uh, Nebby. Okay. Oh, she acts like she like understands what the Pokemon is saying. Not right now, but I will. Oh, I will have to battle to ch to catch it. Now we can finally. Oh, okay, cool. Oh shit! Is Guzma dead? Damn, bro, they killed Guzma right in front of us. Oh, they killed Lusami right in front of us as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, losing me is still alive. This is a sick cutscene. And lo Loki, it looks kind of cool though. I won't lie, the the cutscene looks really cool. We're 
We're, we're gonna beat it up. We're gonna beat up Necrozma. Yeah, we can find it. We're gonna beat it up. At least I, I hope so. I'm losing more than one Pokemon to this? Nah, no shot. No shot. Nah. Bro, this is a movie, I swear. I think it is too. I kind of see that. Are they gonna Patara Fusion? Fusion Dance? What are they gonna do? Or is, is Necrozma gonna absorb it like Super Boo absorbs uh, everybody? That's a really cool cutscene. I'll give you that. Necrozma's gonna eat it basically. So it's basically doing what Super Boo did. I'm gonna get a gifted sub if he loses a mon to Necrozma. Please, someone die. No. Now, that oh, looks dope, though. Loki, that looked a lot better. I, I don't know how I would think with Lunala. I don't think Lunala's would look that great, honestly. Yo, he felt the disturbance in the force. Blacephalon. Okay. That's, that's a cool little uh, cutscene. I like that. Yo, it's Tapu Koko! Tapu Koko's like, run them hands, boy! It's Night for Lunala, it's uh, sick. Dude, I, I gotta have to like look back and look at the cutscene for that. Okay, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. I'll give you that. This little cutscene is actually really cool. They didn't think about this. If the Demon Slayer pops don't uh, drop on a weekend, you'll have a tough time getting the one from Hot Topic. It's it's gonna be Fridays, dude. It'll be Fridays. Nanu versus Guzzlord. Olivia versus Buzzwool. I like this. Zerkatree versus Hapu. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. May I have to convince your mom to let you skip a period to get them then? Or send them to go get them for you. That's you. Necrozma up here. Okay, I want this to be known. Can I... Can I... Um... What's that? Can I... Catch this thing? May I have to convince your mom to let you skip? Dad teaches and mom is super busy with work. So I can't catch it, right? Darkest Lariats. I can't catch Necrozma now. Okay, let's see what a Darkness Lariat goes for right now, first and foremost. How much is that gonna do? Okay. Night Slash. Did almost nothing. If you lose a mod to this, Lou, you are screwed to Ultra Version. Nah, it, it went down rather easy. I don't, I don't really see too much into it. It went down rather easy. I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys mean. Like, so far, Necrozma doesn't seem that bad. So Necrozma fainted, that's it. Everybody's getting levels. Everybody's getting level. Gengar shouldn't come out in these fights. Yeah, I don't think so either. It's way worse than uh, Ultra, okay. If you say so, yeah. Buff man with the claps. Send out Gengar, what's Gengar gonna do to this battle? No. Okay, so. Uh, Dust Mane Necrozma went down. Okay, I don't have to worry too much about this. Is he gonna throw a fit? So how does he become Ultra Necrozma? Does he start getting all the Ultra Beasts? Or what does he end up doing? Okay. I'm a little lost.
Only good idea is Zerora because Greninja is way too low level. Yeah. Gengar is going to be super effective when it's an Ultra. Goodbye would die. Yeah, no, 100%. Gengar too. Gengar is going to be super effective when it's uh, Ultra. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do, Dream. Gengar going to have to uh, Z-move. <clears throat> Doug Trio and uh, Parasec suck, to be honest. Especially in this fight. Hold on, you can't be dissing my Pokemon like that. I mean, in this particular fight, they probably do suck. Ultra Necrozma. Let me look this up. Ultra Necrozma, like, what typing even is it? Ultra Necrozma? It's Psychic Dragon as an Ultra Necrozma. Okay, no, I should be fine. I should be fine. Buff Man gonna win this 1v1 style? I hope so. Z Crystals, okay. So we, we have to get all the Z Crystals for us to do this? The Ultra Warp Bite, if you want to go after your Necrozma, you'll need to reach the White Warp Hole and go through it. Any other Warp Hole will send you to a different world altogether. Okay. So I just have to we reach the White one, right? So do we have to talk to them for them to trigger it? Uh, do you want to ride on uh, Lunala to try to reach the White Warp Hole? Yeah, I'll do that. So why do they have a Lunala? They, they, do they ever really, like, say why they have a Lunala? Sweet sound of death will soon fill our ears. No shot. No shot. Lunala is the best ride. Oh, I, I have a nice little suit on. That's pretty cool. Plot reasons. Yeah, this is the first time they mentioned that they have a Lunala, right? So I basically have to reach the end of it? So with Ultra War Ride, you can ride on Lunala to travel through the Ultra Wormholes. Try to reach wormholes that will lead you to other worlds. You'll use your system's motion sensor to control Lunala's flight path. Uh, okay. Uh, till the system is, uh, tilt the system up, down, left, right to control the Pokemon. If your system's driver's spoke gets stuck out of alignment and isn't reacting properly, uh, move back to a neutral position and press A to reset the sensors. Lunala needs energy to fly through an Ultra Wormhole. Uh, absorb round balls of energy and you will uh, fly faster. This will allow you to travel further. If you run into these electrical obstacles, you will lose speed. The big hole is a warp hole. If you get too near one, you'll be drawn into it. Okay. Different warp holes lead to a variety of different worlds depending on that color. How flashy a warp hole looks is based on how rare it is. There are four levels of rarity in total. The farther away and flashier the warp hole, the better your odds of meeting a rare Pokemon. Absorb more energy and try to head to far away warp holes. Okay. Uh, it should be kind of fine, right? Oh, so it's not something that you can do until post game. That Loki kind of sucks. I'm gonna be doing this back like it's, until I get past that. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. No, it should be fine, right? Told you I was gonna be fine. Ultra Megalopolis. That music is to your death. I don't hear. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, these are different people from the Ultra Recon Squad. Okay. And if Incineroar fails, you lose. Nah, I should be fine. You guys have to believe in me. You guys legitimately have to believe in me. I just gotta go, is this where the game ends? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Hold on, my Pokemon are healed, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Shane, this is the end. You guys have to have confidence in me. Trust me, I, I'm gonna, it's gonna go easy for me. It's gonna e be an easy battle. I'm gonna save this, this uh, world. I'm gonna catch that Necrozma. Do I catch Necrozma now? Or when do I catch Necrozma? Thou shalt witness thy end on thy world. 
Watch they muns suffer. Yo, give me your bits. Win or else! You already know! You already know, Shane! Thank you so much for the biddies, I appreciate it, but you know I'm gonna win! So how do I catch the Krozma? Like, do I beat it in battle, like a successful battle, and then just catch it? Catch the Krozma on your way up to the Pokemon League. You catch it before the League? So you have this big boss battle with the Krozma, but you don't catch it until later. Oh, that's a cool cutscene. Buffman got this. Give him a Z Crystal. Oh, I should have given him the Incinium. Oh, well, it would have been a fire move, though, so probably not. Buns, do I have that? I do have that, yeah! Good looking out on me. Good looking out, bro. Good looking out. Easy. Easy. Easy, I'm gonna destroy this thing. It runs like a baby after you eventually beat it and, uh, and then sleeping right before uh, the Elite Four. Got this. I got this. Gen 7 has better cutscenes than Gen 8. I agree with that as well. Yeah. Incinium should be dark. Really? Did I mess up? Damn it. I didn't know that. I thought it was a fire one. There you go. Nice. Any, any, any little bit of chip damage matters. The black hole eclipse. Oh, it has a power gem? to get past this. How am I going to get past this? A part of me wants to... Nah, I won't lose. I won't lose. I might, I might lose. I might lose. I might... Please... Oh. I, I was hoping... I was hoping. Oh my god, bro. I was hoping that the quick claw would trigger. <laughs> this is what you get for banishing the god bird from the team? A soft reset? Yeah, pretend it never happened, bro. <sighs> Full time, guys. That thing's gonna destroy me, isn't it? No, I'm gonna get wiped. Yeah, I think this is where it does end. I legitimately think this is where it ends. Wow, that's wild. Look at these options I have, bro. Scald. Dragon Pulse. Oh my god! Actually, I thought this thing didn't have coverage, you idiot. I mean, I didn't think Power Gym's a good move. Power Gym sucks! Uh... There's a Photon guy. Bro! That is wild! Imagine if uh, the trio of all things. 80 power, 100 accuracy, uh, power gem is uh, so good on some Pokemon.
as the Dragon Ball Sats. Yeah, it's going down. God! Yo, somebody played the world's tiniest violin for me. Oh my god! That was rough! That was rough! Oh my god! Well, GG, that's that's the run, honestly. Because there's no way that I'm going to grind to get back up there. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to grind to get back up there. Wow! Wow, that was rough! And I thought I was over-leveled, bro. I thought I was over-leveled. Woo! Should have uh, brought the Genesect. And traditional rails you lost, yeah. F to the Wonderlock, give it another shot. All right, so officially, I'll call it. I took the L, I lost to the Wonderlock. I'll, I'll say it officially. I lost the Wonderlock, right? But I, I'm, I actually like this. I'm, I'm gonna try it another shot. I'm gonna give it another shot from Mar that Marco says. And then I'm gonna take uh, what Shane says. I'm actually gonna bring the Genesect as well. It's a level 100, let's see if that helps, right? And we'll drop the Parasect. Chat is law. Give us a uh, a pull. Should he retry or give? Well, I'll I'll, re I'll retry. I'll retry no matter what. But it, it's it's unofficial. Oh my god, everything's so dark. Doing good. Thanks for asking. How uh, is Pokemon going? Technically, we lost. I won't lie. Technically, I lost. Yeah, I, I, I it probably will go down in two hits to uh, Alternate Crosby easily. But I want I want to see how things play out. Like it's. Let's try it. Second attempt. We brought the Genesis instead of the Parasect. Let's see how things go. Catch it. Eventually. Bruff man, it's spoopy back. Make them lose. Okay. Fights. Z best power. Savage spin out. Let's see how much this does. Is it actually gonna work, by the way? Because I thought he wasn't gonna listen to me. Or is it because it's a a gift Pokemon? This makes sense, right? This makes sense why that worked. Level 100. Download boost. Z crystal. It makes sense, right? That's how you beat Necrozma, I guess? Yeah. That's on me for not wanting to use a hack. No, I'm kidding. I don't really, I, I don't really care about using or not using a hack Pokemon. It's just, it wasn't there. Oh, is the Genesis EV trained as well? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, bro. Shout out to hack Pokemon. But the official Wonderlock is concluded. It is over. I have lost it. I will, I won't deny it. I won't deny it. I lost it. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel on that if you haven't already of course comment down below What you guys thought of this series? I know it officially ends with this episode and I'm a little sad that it did I thought we would be fine. I thought I, I wasn't expecting to lose or to stop or to finish playing today But it happened uh, So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below again I do have a giveaway going on right now on Instagram if you guys want to win a fat gum from my hero academia Funko pop make sure to head over to my Instagram and check that out 
Of course, if you guys want to catch content like this live every single day, I say that, but I don't really know if it happens every single day, but if you guys want to catch it live, head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash no leaks Louie. And of course, uh, if you guys haven't caught up, make sure to catch the rest of the Wonderlock videos here on YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.